Okay, uh, welcome and good to see you everyone. I'm Yoji Takeuchi from Osaka International Cancer Institute, Japan. And I'm a deputy chief of the department of uh, gastrointestinal oncology and the uh, first of, and the corresponding author of this paper. Uh, first of all, I'd like to appreciate editor members of GIE for giving uh, me the opportunity to discuss our article. On behalf of all co-authors, it is my great pleasure to talk about our paper recently accepted in GIE. The title of our paper is Efficacy of Autofluorescence Imaging for Fat Neuron Detection, a Multicenter Randomized Control Trial, a flat trial. This study was conducted at nine Japanese tertiary institutions. In this multicenter trial, we investigated the efficacy of autofluorescence imaging, AFI, uh, for flat neoplasm detection. AFI is one of the uh, imaging enhanced endoscopy, that is e IEE, and it was updated recently. Uh, we enrolled more than 800 patients, and updated AFI could show better detectability for fat neoplasms than conventional wide-eyed imaging, that is WLI. It was in 2014. Um, we had a conference in Hokkaido, Japan, and the name of the conference is um, Endoscopy Forum Japan, EFJ. In the EFJ 2014, we, the members of the FR trial, got together and discussed how to improve corrector polyp detection. It is generally said that fat, that is non polypoid neoplasms, have a greater association with carcinoma compared with polypoid neoplasms, and such fat neoplasms are easily to be missed during colonoscopy and can be a cause of interval cancer. Actually, uh, Dr. Masada from National Cancer Center Hospital Tokyo, and he is the uh, last author of this paper and he is the uh, chief of our EFRA trial group, uh, conducted the Japan Polyp Study, which is similar to National Polyp Study. Um, they detected 28 index regions during three years follow-up period, and uh, most of them were fat neoplasm, including non-granular type laterally spreading tumor, that is LSDNG. So we thought improvement for detecting fat neoplasms is quite important. And then we compared the visibility of updated AFI, NBI, and chroma endoscopy for fat neoplasms using steel endoscopy images images in a pilot trial in the EFJ in 2014. In the pilot trial published in Digestive Endoscopy, updated AFI could show comparable visibility with chroma endoscopy and improved visibility than NBI. So we decided updated AFI a, as an experimental arm for this randomized control trial. Um, theoretically, IEE can improve fat neoplasm detection rather than uh, polypoid neoplasm detection because polypoid lesion can be detected even with a conventional wireless image. So eventually, we set fat neoplasm detection as a primary endpoint of this trial. And as I told you, actually we could show the efficacy of updated uh, FI for detection of fat neoplasms, but FI has still room for improvement because it is very thick very thick and very difficult to insert. So, it is not the standard endoscope for colonoscopy, routine colonoscopy in daily practice. However, we believe that this study is indicating that efficacy of IEE should be assessed by the detectability of fat neoplasms. Additionally, although we could show better detectability for fat neoplasms with AFI, but we have uh, many polypoid neoplasms in clinical practice. So still, we require some other devices for improving polypoid neoplasms detection. Um, polypoid neoplasms can be detected uh, when it is shown in an endoscopic image, uh, but if the lesion is hidden behind the chronic fold, we cannot detect the polypoid neoplasms. So it is very important to observe the backside of the chronic folds by pressing down the chronic folds with some equipment such as endocraft or transparent hood or something like that. Otherwise, wide-angle viewing endoscope, such as fuse endoscope, third eye, or some other new technologies to observe the backside of the chronic folds are also effective. Therefore, all such devices should be assessed by the uh, detectability of polypoid neoplasmas 
And we think the combination of this IEE with devices to observe backside of the chronic falls must be the best. And should we assess the detectability of overall neoplasmas in the future? Uh, finally, uh, we deeply appreci appreciate Ms. Naoko Sawada, a Department of Molecular uh, Targeting Cancer Prevention in Kyoto Prefectural University of Medicine uh, for assistance with data management and the uh, members of the Efficacy and Safety Assessment Committee, and Professor Hiroshi, Igara, uh, Hiroshi Kashida from Kinda University, and Dr. Hiroko Nebiki from Osaka City General Hospital, and Kenji Watanabe uh, from Hyogo University uh, for their contribution. And Professor Yoshinori Igarashi is the president of EFJ and all organized committee member of EFJ for giving us this opportunity to conduct this EFRA trial. And thank you so much uh, for your kind attention. And if you have any questions or advices, please do not hesitate to contact us. As the corresponding author, my email address is written in the paper. Thank you so much.